Welcome to the new series of how these renders were made. In this video, we are going to see how they made this image, made by the Vid Studio, a small studio of three members based in Vietnam. They have told us everything they used to make this image. So stay until the end of the video, because we will discover the techniques, resources, and settings they used to achieve these results made by a professional studio. Their goal was to create photorealistic images using their knowledge and experience of five years dedicated to this work. To make these images, they used three dismal SketchUp, Corona Render, Bitmap Material, Substance Painter, and a little bit of Photoshop. They only used two references for this work. The first is a Google searched image and the second is from Vietnamese artist Maya Zuko. The most common measurement used in Vietnam is millimeters, so they worked the model in millimeters. The first step was to model the main house in SketchUp which is an excellent and simple tool for modeling basic 3DD architectural models, since they felt more comfortable using s Then, they used 3DS Max for more detailed modeling, such as balcony railings, wooden floor, cables, steel poles, slopes, etc. We used door and window models from CD Access. Making use of 3DD model libraries on the internet is a good way to save time. The 3D vegetation models are from Max Street. They only use used two tree models for this scene because their computer hardware was a bit lazy. They made the forest using the forest pack add-on from Ito Software. First, they used the automatic generation mode to make trees and then the tree editor mode to arrange each tree to be perfect with the camera views. All the remaining models, such as table, chairs, and decorative objects, we downloaded from 3 Ski with their materials and textures. The most important thing for a photorealistic image is realistic materials, so they did their best to use PBR textures in every job. Some textures were taken from Polygon.com and the rest we created with Bitmap Material and Substance Painter. In addition, the physical properties of the exterior wood material, they spent more time to make them as detailed as possible by using the environmental occlusion map included in Corona Renderer combined with a dirt map and some smoke maps from the internet. They also did the same process with the window and door materials. To add more detail, they did the unwrap of on some models and took them to Substance Painter. Substance Painter and its tools are great for making the materials more natural. In addition, we improved some materials by adding textures to their glossiness channels. Lighting is the most important part of the whole work process. In most of the work, they have done their best to simplify the lighting in this scene. They used HDRI and Corona Renderer Sun for the lighting. By the way, the HDRI was downloaded from a Dree Heaven 2K for test rendering and 8K for final rendering. All lighting settings were set to default and adjusted with Corona Renderer Light Mix. You can see from this image that many lighting concepts can be created using this tool. They kept most of the default settings of Corona Renderer. There were only a few changes in the box we see checked. It helped them save rendering time. They also reduced the max ray depth number because they found that this number does not need to be very high for an outdoor scene. Our expected noise level was 10% and we set the denoising to 70%. After finishing the rendering, they created several lighting concepts with light mix, corona render, tone mapping, and coronalit. These tools help us to save time in post-production. We leave you with the final images, but first if you found the video interesting, please like and subscribe to analyze more projects.